Meanwhile, the 11 counts in computer security breach charges for Carlos Elizondo still stand. News Center 23's Derek Garcia continues our team coverage. Derek. Yeah, good evening, Brenda. Late last month, former fire chief Carlos Elizondo was indicted by a grand jury. Now, he's accused of accessing Brownsville's emergency reporting databases 11 times. It was a condition of his October 2017 suspension that he would not access databases. And also in 2017, the former fire chief was charged with one count of thefts by a public servant and one count of misapplication of fiduciary property. Those charges stem from a complaint filed against Elizondo last August by the Brownsville Firefighters Association. Now, Elizondo's former BISD board colleague helped firefighters with their complaint, which accused the ex-top fire official of taking more than $8,000 from his fellow firefighters' political action committee. That's what these reports are for, that yeah. you receive the money, and that money's received, and where is it spent, how is it spent, and is it within the requirements that your PAC has? Now, Elizondo has also been linked to an audit report which accuses him and former city manager Charlie Cavalier of rerouting non-emergency calls to a private ambulance company and ended up costing the city tens of thousands of dollars. Now, Brownsville Police Department could not release certain records citing an ongoing criminal investigation and no charges have been filed from that audit report. Now, in regards to Elizondo's legal troubles, trial dates are pending for the security charges and the theft charges as well.